It's Dave here from AAA Coach. Um, I've got five training aids here that I'm going to compare and give some pros and possibly even some cons to have in each and every one of them. I've had all these for, I don't know, probably eight months to a year now, and I've used each one of these, um, some more than others, uh, just because of the, uh, the capability and the compatibility. Um, so what we're gonna talk about today is the CERT pistol, the cool fire training system, the dry fire mag, a Mantis X system, this is the X10, and the Mantis Laser Academy, either portable or the regular one. Uh, if I were you, I would opt to get the regular one if you do not have a tripod, but we'll cover that later. Okay, so I guess first and foremost, we're gonna go with the Surf Pistol, we're gonna go in order. Surf Pistol is a cool little tool because you get a laser with it, yeah? And you get to see where you're shooting. Um, it's got a weighted mag, so you can actually do magazine changes pretty, pretty effectively. The problem I see between the CERT pistol and a real pistol is that you don't get the same trigger pull. Okay, so that's a, that's a difference there. The other problem I see, and this is with all lasers, um, whenever you're going to aim, people tend to focus on where the laser is hitting versus where they're aiming. And that can be a problem. Um, that can be a huge problem because now you're training your brain to do something completely different than what it needs to be doing. Um, so if you buy a CERT pistol or some kind of other laser training device, make sure you're focusing on your sights and not where the laser is hitting, please. All right, that's a CERT pistol for like 250 bucks. You get something cool, but I don't think it's anything that's worth like writing home to mom about, okay? Um, we can combine this with other training tools and we'll cover that in a little bit. Next, we're gonna go with the, the cool fire training system. Now this is caliber specific, not caliber specific, excuse me. It's, um, it's um, firearm specific, forgive me, my son's upstairs running around. Uh, it is what it is. Firearm specific. So this is a nine millimeter Canik SFX nine. Okay, um, and I've already replaced the barrel with the the air cylinder and the spring that comes with it as well. Okay, um, I've already obviously made sure it's clear, and then I've also got a magazine here. It does come with two of these little follower deals to make it so that your firearm does not lock back to the rear. Now you can use it with or without. Without, you're gonna get a lot of magazine change drills. And with, uh, you can still do your magazine train change drills, but you won't get that lock back feature, okay? Um, this one's cool in the sense that it gives you recoil, some kind of recoil. Something that moves other than your finger in the hammer or the or the striker, for example. So this is really cool. Alright? So the way it works is after you got it installed, you heat your bottle up to, I think it's in between 84 and 86 degrees, something like that. You turn it on, it comes with this little doohickey here, right? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Anyway, and then you can opt to buy a, a, um, a tank with it as well that's filled or not filled. I chose to have my not filled, which forced me to go find some place where I can fill it up. But anyway, so then you, you charge the air cylinder, which is the actual barrel once you put it in there. And once you do that, I'm able to get about 40 shots out of one charge. Okay, that's nothing but CO2 air. It's completely safe. I mean, you wouldn't want to get your hand or finger caught in this, but it gives it gives somebody who is new to firearms training some kind of recoil. No, it's not the exact recoil, 100%. Uh, in fact, I believe the barrel goes down versus kicking back 
because there's nothing to kick it, kick it back, if that makes sense. Uh, and you're still you're still kind of holding it, pushing it forward, and I believe the barrel goes down, dips down. But it does give you some recoil. The other thing you can do, you can buy a laser for it, which we already talked about lasers, and you can buy an extended barrel for it, which I don't think you need, by the way. Uh, you get 40 shots out of this when you're doing your your training, you're doing your you're doing your draw drills, your multiple engagement drills. Once you get past 40 rounds or 40 shots, you're gonna to wanna to take a break and fill up, okay? And if you're not taking a break and filling up, well, uh, we'll power to you. But I think after 40 rounds of shooting continuously, you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit of a break. Okay, that's if you're training correctly. Um, meaning like you're focused on all the fundamentals. If you're just blasting 40 rounds, then obviously you're just blasting 40 rounds, but I digress. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the dry fire mag. This is a cool little contraption. Whereas, now this is my real 80% polymer block. Okay. Now, oh. Maybe I installed it correctly. There it goes. <clears throat> So I installed it incorrectly, now I have it correct. Um, anyway, it gives you it gives you some, some feedback as to um, trigger control. Uh, but that's really all it does. Uh, I mean, for a hundred bucks, there's better tools out there. However, if you wanted to throw this in your kit bag to practice trigger control and try not to move that dot, or in this case, the dot, or you could do obviously iron sights. If you wanted to use it for that reason, that'd be awesome. But it does not give you the same trigger squeeze or press or whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, it does not give you that same feeling when you pull the trigger. Um, so that's a downfall, but it is a cool little piece of kit. You could throw it in your range bag. And then when you go, you can practice presenting and not not having to re, uh, re cock your pistol every, each time. That's pretty much it for the dry fire mag. I mean, uh, I don't think it's worth a hundred bucks. However, um, um, it is good to, to have in your kit bag, I guess, if you're going to practice multiple shots and uh, multiple, multiple uh, targets. But if you don't have your front nose down, this is worthless. Um, it is better in price than, let's say, the Cool Fire training system, which cost me, I think, cost me somewhere around 400 bucks by the time everything was said and done. I got everything. So uh, 100 bucks versus 400 bucks for a trigger reset. It's pretty cool. All right. Now we're going to go into the Laser Academy. The Laser Academy. It's just like it sounds, a laser cannon. Now it comes with a little dinky tripod. Like I said, I would opt if you don't have your own tripod to get the the regular version, which is like 50 bucks more, man. 150 bucks versus 100 bucks, okay? This little dinky tripod, um, well, first of all, mine broke on me, so there's that. Uh, but secondly, it's just it's just not stable enough. It's just not robust enough. Okay, so I would opt for the for the regular one. Okay, it does come with a, a telephone holder. Okay, so any standard telephone will probably fit this, and um, it comes with a laser, your caliber of choice. So this is caliber specific, not firearm specific, caliber specific, and a little dowel rod to push this out when you're done with it. It also, I'm going to set this aside and use it. It also comes with uh, a bunch of targets. Now, I had to open this up to, for demonstration purposes, so I have some extra targets here. Uh, this is, but it comes with a stack of targets. So what happens is you put a target. We'll pick a target. Here we go. You put a target up on the wall. And you take your phone. You point it to this target. You go to the app. Uh, the app will read these QR codes, and then wherever that laser hits, that's where the shot is. 
Now there is a calibration feature that you need to be aware of on the Laser Academy that I'm not going to go through with here, but maybe briefly. So you take your target, you put it on the wall, you aim your, you aim your, tele, your telephone to the target, you put your, uh, you put your, you take it to the Laser Academy app, and it will read that target. You pick the program of your choice, and you shoot that program. You also, uh, before you shoot the program, obviously, you need to put the laser inside of the firearm. So if you clear it as normal, remove the source of feed, lock the action to the rear, check the chamber, bolt face magazine well, then place your cartridge in the chamber. Once your cartridge is in the chamber, now you'll have to chuck each and every time for your shot. But that laser that happens, okay, you guys can't see it, but there's a laser on the wall whenever I shoot this thing. Or maybe I can shoot it right here. It's, it's hitting the back of that laser cartridge and making the laser go off, which in turn will go and hit the target, which is read by the QR codes and will let you know where you're hitting. The calibration feature on the Laser Academy is a must. Your, your sight over bore is uh, of significance, okay? So when you aim, with your sight and your five, 10 yards maybe, your laser is gonna hit lower than your sight. So you have to use the calibration feature on the Laser Academy app. Um, you, uh, you cannot use the dry fire mag with the Laser Academy because there's nothing that is going to happen. There's, the striker is not gonna hit the back of the, the cartridge, if that makes sense. So that is something you can't do. Um, but anyway, that's a hundred bucks or 150 bucks, depending on which way you want to go. Whether you want to go with the portable, which this is the portable, but I recommend going with the standard version. It will wear out over time. The back of this uh, cartridge right now has got maybe a couple hundred rounds to it. My other cartridge, my spare cartridge that I, I bought separately, is completely is completely shot. You can, I believe, buy cartridges, the back of the cartridges, which in that case, you just buy the back of the cartridge, you replace the back of the cartridge, and then you're good to go, okay? So it will wear out, but you're looking at like two to 3,000 rounds, okay? So I have like 5,000 rounds shot through both of these, something like that. All right, so that's the laser cannon. Now we're gonna go to my favorite. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite is the, the Mantis X Systems. And here's why. This is going to teach or refine your grip, your trigger squeeze, and possibly even your trigger reset through training. It's going to give you analytical data that you can actually work on. It's going to show you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Uh, so the Mantis X2, X3, and X10. Uh, the price difference is pretty great depending on what you want to do. If you shoot a bow and you want to refine on your bow, I would use X10. If you don't shoot a bow, then I wouldn't even worry about the X10. I would go straight to the X3, which with the X3 and versus the X2, you can live fire with the X3 versus the X2 you can't live fire with. And there's some other subtle qualities that uh, are differences, but those are the basics of it. Now, this is the X10. The X10, I can shoot rifle, shotgun, pistol, bow, and it will give me some analytical feedback. I think most people are going to be interested in pistols, okay? So as long as you have a Picatinny rail, and by the way, if you don't have a Picatinny rail, Mantis does sell rails that go on the bottom of your magazine or, or something of that nature. The that you can use these things with. So there's really no excuse not to buy one of these things. You might just have to spend a little extra money, but for the money, you're getting a awesome training tool. It's completely portable and you will go through uh, literally thousands of shots before it even dies, okay? All right, so obviously you wanna make sure the, the pistol is clear, check the chamber. Chamber or drop switch feed, lock the action to the rear, chamber, bolt face, magazine well, ensure that there's nothing in there, and lock and close the action. Install your equipment on your Picatinny rail like I have, and then you're gonna push the button, and I'm just show you here, it's gonna blink like that. But once I 
connected to my phone, it will be solid, okay? We're not gonna connect it today. Uh, you guys can see my other videos for that. But with this, I can use it with my regular pistol, okay? I can set the settings so I can use it with the dry fire mag. And if I don't want to do that, oh, I can put it on my cert pistol and I can also use it with the cert pistol, right? Here's the other, here's the other trick. I can put this on, okay? I can put a laser cartridge in my firearm as well. And now I can still use this device. So if I had the Laser Academy and the Mantis X systems, one, either one, two, three, or 10, like I have a wonderful training tool that I can incorporate with just about anything else. Oh, I forgot to mention. I can also take the Mantis X10 or X3, I can use it with the Cool Fire Trainer System because it's meant to dry and live fire. Okay, that's the three and the 10, not the two. So I can incorporate the X3 with any one of these training systems and I can get some analytical feedback and refine my shot. Tack out.